Hey guys, is this giant coffee bean, the elephant bean, producing the rarest coffee in the world? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Shop Vibes. Welcome to East BRE Coffee, the show dedicated to help enhance your specialty coffee shop knowledge. We're going to get into the details, talking about a coffee varietal that very few people, even in the coffee industry, know about. It wasn't even on my radar until we got a, some beans from Nicaragua. We're going to talk about that in a second. Hey guys, again, I'm Mike. Welcome to East BRE Coffee. My wife and I, we took our love of coffee, turned it into East BRE Coffee, and then we opened the first specialty coffee house in our county. Uh, I worked in Silicon Valley. Quick little backstory, as some people might know. Uh, and I just have this great love of coffee, love of learning, love of statistics. And I love just sharing insights uh, about coffee with people and people come in our cafe. And I've tried coffees roasted by all the top, um, especially coffee roasters, craft roasters uh, in every state in America. And I'm, we're always trying new coffee. One of the cool things about our coffee shop here is um, you know, we run it, of course, we run it as a people first business. We're in a small, depressed town where our whole premise is to exist is to help, you know, make the town better, enhance people's lives, even if it's just through a cup of coffee, bring people together. But the other thing we focus on, way before we focus on profits, it's a unique business. Now, I, now I know a lot of small businesses, I know a lot of big businesses, right? And they're really worried about the bottom line. And I can tell you, we hardly ever, ever discuss that because we're people first and then we're coffee second. And we really love sharing great coffees. And what we do, you know, that drives people, <laughs> people, financial people crazy is, you know, we don't care like, hey, this coffee sounds interesting. We're gonna bring it. You know, I've served 50 or $60 a pound coffees for free at the coffee shop. Uh, so we love sharing uh, with you great coffees. And we're always exploring the world. We've had coffee now from virtually everywhere in the world, including Nicaragua. Now something was very unique about our last bag of coffee, we get these big burlap bags, we buy them one-offs from Nicaragua because it contained an Arabica varietal called Margo Jipe. I think that's how you pronounce it because really there's not a lot of information about these beans. Obviously, we knew something was up because the size of the bean. Now it was, my coffee importer didn't know that this was one of the varietals. Of course, if you know specialty coffee, again, this is gonna get really into the details. Uh, you probably know that most specialty coffee houses almost exclusively serve Arabica coffee. That is the most flavorful type of Arabica or type of coffee. Now there are other different varietals. Robusta, again, is a typically cheaper coffee, but we can dive into those details later. Now Arabica has 130 plus varietals of different types of it. They're all Arabica coffee. They all should be grown, uh, shade grown, high altitude coffees that, so they taste better, whatever. But Kenya is different than what you maybe get in Brazil or Nicaragua or Mexico or, or Sumatra, right? People know of Tipica uh, coffee, right? SL28 is a type of coffee in Kenya. Uh, they have you know, manipulated some of these coffee strains um, to produce better tasting coffees. I think we had one from Kenya, I think it's called Batatan, which is a new varietal coming up in Kenya to resist uh, coffee disease and rust and, and grow with less water. So they're always playing with these different varietals to get better quality. Of course, Gesha is now a very famous type of Arabica, but they're all types of Arabica. Kona, it's, they're all types of Arabica uh, coffee beans. Some people know Katora, all types of Arabica. Again, 130 plus varietals of Arabica. Now, some people say these beans, these big beans, nicknamed the elephant beans, Margo Jipe coffee, is the rarest type of Arabica. It is a genetic mutation, which all, basically all these are if they occur naturally, and it produces these really, really big coffee beans. Now, there's very little information about this type of coffee. Uh, it originated in Brazil, the town of uh, Margo Jipe, I believe is how you say it, Port in Portuguese. I don't know if the Spanish pronounces pronounce it differently, and sorry if I'm butchering it because I can't even find a correct pronunciation. This is the best I could go by, kind of, I believe, the Portuguese way of how they say the name of the town in Brazil. Anyway, they don't use this coffee much because it's the plants are, they yield, they don't yield a lot, right? So they don't produce a lot of fruit, so it's uneconomical for them to use it. Now, um, it did take a little bit of a hold in Nicaragua and in Guatemala, you can find this coffee. Now, typically, a coffee farm is going to have a couple different varietals just you know in case one gets uh, a disease or something so in this case this bag of coffee that we had had four different varietals typically they're around two to uh, two to three typically three i would say so but sometimes you get four varietals which is where we had the margo g pay coffee in this lot from a single farm 
in Nicaragua. The reason, again, coffee farmers do that is to kind of hedge their bets against disease, very common in this type of coffee. So this is why some people say this is the rarest coffee and a coffee that you probably don't hear about quite often. But if you're ever at a cafe and you know this, some places actually sell this, you can get this uh, as a single kind of bean where they separate it out because of the size. Check it out. It's called Margo Gipe. Again, best of my knowledge on the pronunciation. It is the largest varietal of Af or Arabica coffee beans in the world. To me, this coffee has such a unique taste. Most of it comes from the tenor of the land in Nicaragua. It has plum and toffee and almond, and even some people taste a little bit of tobacco in it. So very good. Again, our first roast. It'll be available. I'll put a link. We have it. Again, it's not all Margo Gipe, four different varietals, but very unique tasting coffee from Nicaragua. So there you go, a deep dive into the rarest coffee in the world. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more Coffee Shop Insights.